<laughs> I'll have to edit that bit out, Phil. Morning everyone, welcome back. Uh, we're just trying out the GoPro today. As you can see, I'm sat at my garage. I've just chucked a load of rubbish um, into my garage. First things, I've got a couple of things I just want to show you. Um, I bought this new, I think this is a pipe slice. I'm not entirely sure what it is. So um, I've got some copper pipe to do later. So we'll uh, we'll try that out. What else have I got? Picked up one of these cable uh, tongues. It's basically a piece of trunking lid, a flexible trunking lid. And I picked up, some of these um, I was struggling the other day with a, an Allen key so I thought sod it um, so I got a set of these good, good quality um, what else it's probably something else I forgot um, yes yeah, so I got a new knife that came free with that that I picked up at Lex show so I've got a new knife so anyway we're gonna head over to the job and uh, see how we get on I've got a painter there so we'll, we'll see if he wants to get on camera but who knows anyway let's get on with it Right, finally at the job, um, grab myself a coffee, just going to jump in now, I'll grab some capping and sockets, etc. So let's jump in there and I'll, I'll show you around. Right, so here we go. We've got consume unit in here. Um, it's been done at some point. No labels. Well, there's a label, but not, not an installation label. Um, so we're going to be working on sockets today. What we'll do, we'll whip this cover off quickly and, and have a quick look in there first. Right, as you can see, um, it's got some new colours and old colours. Um, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but I'm surprised there aren't a lot of a lot more old colours in here because all the sockets and stuff upstairs are in the old brown, uh, red and black. Um, so I'm hoping I can get into one of these new circuits where they've had some work done in the kitchen, but we're going to check that out now. So there's Phil, top quality painter, painting for me. So you didn't see me volt stick doing that. So this circuit's isolated now. Um, I'm not convinced this is going to be a ring, so we'll do some testing on this first. I'm shocked there's a ring main in this house. Okay. <laughs> I'm shocked there's a ring main in this house. Yeah? <laughs> Stop swearing! <laughs> I'll have to edit that bit out, Phil. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. I'll let you know, mate, when I'm filming. Well, as you can see there, Phil's quite potty mouth, so I'll have to edit the last clip. But as you can see, I've done a bit of testing here. Um, we've actually got a ring main, which is good. As you can see there, I had an old socket, which I ripped out, and then there was an old socket there, which someone spurred off of this socket. So this socket basically had two um, spurs off of it. So what we're doing is gonna add a new socket in over there, one socket over there, and one socket over there. So I'm gonna get this floor up, uh, we'll put it on the time lapse so we can't hear old uh, potty mouth Phil. <laughs> right, I've got some boards up. Someone's luckily cut these two out for me. Uh, that's the cable that fed, spurred off of that socket, went up to that one. So I've pulled it out because it's a clear run through. Um, I've put this um, client wanted these in the corners um, so I can chase that one in. I'm going to chase that one in. I'm going to chase that one in now and then chase that in and just do a little joint under the floor. So I'll be back in a sec. Right, there's one done. Um, I've just got to drill behind the skirt in, get a bit of floor up now. Um, do the same with the other sockets, and then these will be wired then. Right, 
Right, we're all chased out now. That one I filmed, but the time lapse went wrong. That one's done. That one's done. I'm gonna have a good clear up now and then get this floor up, get some cables pushed around and then I'll show you what I've done. Right, this is where we're at. Um, got my new ring main sticking out of the floor here. Uh, I've got the same over there. I've got the same over there. And if you look here, I've got one leg of the ring, which literally goes over there, back under the floor, da -da -da -da, back to here, okay? So basically one of these legs out of this socket will be coming out, going in a Wago box under the floor, and then we'll do some, we'll get them capped, get them second fixed, and then we'll do some testing, and then I've got to fill them. So I'm just using this big um, wide oval cap in which slides over to 2.5 cables very easily. Um, what I have to do is take the box out, grommet it, and then put it all back in. And then you can just slide the cap in right up to the box. like to make the socket off before I make good because sometimes when you play about with these cables you agitate this whole bit of cap in and it the the uh, stuff that you put on might actually fall out the wall but I'm going to show you in a minute how I actually make these chases good in a sec okay so I'm not doubling up the Live and neutral, the only one I will double up is the CPC. socket now and I like these because they give you the dual earth not that I use it on this sort of thing but if I'm ever doing a computer circuit or um, high integrity earth in circuit then I will use the dual earth um, okay and I hope someday that we will be using torque screwdrivers on these it isn't actually a setting I had some comments about that um, why don't you torque down the sockets to a certain torque setting? And that's because there isn't any settings for that. Um, so we can't do it. Okay. And you notice I don't put back box earth on because I'm happy that the fixed lug is going to earth these two screws and then you've got the fixed bar across the back of the socket there. Okay, so there's one, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. Oops. Right. So these are seven, seven, threes. buy a load of the new boxes at a Lex show um, where you can fit the 221s in but I thought I'd use these up today okay easy as that and then you get your little junction box you can put whichever ones you want down in like so okay fix that on the side here and then you put cable tie through there like that 
Right, we're at a stage now where I can actually do some testing here and then I can record these readings. And I've got my iPad in, so we'll fire that up and I'll show you what I'm using. All right, so you can see that I just started using this iCertify electrical um, software. So we're just going for a minor works. And maybe we don't want that. Minor works. Put no. Fill all this client details in after, but we can do that. Uh, reference. And you can generate a reference. Client, da da da. So we're just going to put um, additional, additional sockets in bedroom off existing circuit. Okay, da da da. Next. Okay, so then you got your software here, just reposition you, like so, and then you can see what I'm doing, so just forget this bit for now, so what we want to do is jump to this page, okay, so, where are we? Where's the end to ends? This is very strange. Where is it? Where is it? No. Right, so I'm just linking out my um, CPC again and my live opposites. Basically like a figure of eight. Some people, somebody said, why don't you use the Wagos? Just because this is a lot easier than poking them in Wagos and then getting them out. Especially if you don't use the ones with the levers. So I'm just going to go around, do my R1, R2s now, all the sockets. Uh, basically just, looks like my got a little socket tester that we use. Wherever I put it. There it is. So I'll just use this little plug-in test with my leads and I'll go around now and get some readings. Right, so I just done my R1, R2s at 0.35 as the highest. Uh, that doesn't don't need that, so just put an NA. This software makes my life so much easier. Um, so we're going to just skip that for the second. We're going to jump to the continuity, and we're going to do it at this socket. Um, and then we can just record this as we go. So zero point five three. 0 0.53 neutrals zero and we got 0 0.51 0 0.51 slightly lower might just be the way I clamp the tail thing on there I'll go back to that in a sec and CPC 0 Point seven six. Let's just go back to the live. Let's see if we can get that the same. There we go. Okay, it's just the way I clamped it on there. Point five zero, so we can put that. Point five zero. Okay. Well, I'm going to go around and pl unplug everything now, and then I'm going to do some insulation resistance testing on the circuit. Right, I've just been round, done all my testing. It's sound as a pound, so greater than 200 mega ohms. So we're going to go round and fill these up now. <laughs> right, circuit's now off because we're going to be working here and here. Get yourself a little bucket of water, some PVA glue. Try and do a 50-50 mix if you can. A little bit more glue doesn't matter. Okay. And get yourself a brush. Give that a good mix. Till it's mixed up nicely. 
this is going to give the bricks or whatever you've been cutting out so that it's going to make it tacky basically so your bonding or filler is just not going to fall straight out um, the sheet down basically just get artistic with it and just cover it all really like this see that old cable that goes up there goes to nothing now i didn't want to rip this whole wall out so just left it in there it's completely dead okay so just coat that probably do this as well because i've got to fill this again that. that's it i'm going to go around and do all these chases the same and then put some bonding on but i'll be back to show you that Okay, get the idea. Right, next, this is just um, thistle bonding. It's like a huge bag you can buy from mixes or wherever. So mix yourself up a pot of this and then literally um, just get it on. Um, don't worry about um, going too proud of it because you are going to want to, if you're doing the making good, you're going to want to get a skim or filler on there. So just bond the big holes up like that and then see that like that, okay? Um, So I just started to roll these walls out, just jumping on the painting just to give Phil a hand. Look at it. What do you think? That is nasty. This is a um this could be a nursery because she's pregnant, bless her, but look. Mm, I think it's a bit bright to be honest. Or dark, if you, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Beautiful. Can you give me some marks out of ten just for the filling on them? Um, God, look at that! Look. On these boxes. Where have I been going wrong all these years? I don't yeah. know. Spot on that is, mate. It's alright, isn't it? That's bang on. <laughs> that is a pucker <laughs> job, that one. Beautiful. Right, Phil is gone. He's left me. I'm toshing out these walls for him tomorrow. Um, yeah, cut a long story short, I took this job on the painting and everything. So, and I got Phil in just subcontract out to Phil, but I'm helping in. I, Sorry, he's got like seven days to paint this hole upstairs and it's getting close to the deadline, so I thought I'd jump on it a little bit with him. Um, the client's phoned me. She wants me to test the whole house now. And I told her I haven't got time, basically, but I'll just show you. She's had loads of stuff done and there's no certificate and no record at all of anything. So they had all this kitchen done. Um, all lights. Um, all the kitchens all brand new um, as you can see and uh, there's no certificate so um, sorry she had this utility done as well it's a brand new utility um, all new lights electrical etc but the worrying thing is she said to me um, the electrician said he wouldn't because the wiring in the house was so bad he said he wouldn't test it so I said okay that's fair enough yeah he hasn't touched the circuit so he hasn't got to test it 
Um, upstairs on the socket circuit that I worked on, it's black, uh, black and uh, red. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and then in the board, that's the one I've been working on. As you can see, he's put two new cables in, so he has been fiddling with this old circuit. Um, God knows how. Um, this cable does a sauna in the back garden. Um, and then this is like a trunking that he's put up. It's, it's a bit crap, to be honest. Um, there's the meter tails. Look, they're just sort of lashed in down here. So um, I think the meter is actually, yeah, the meter's, that's the meter board. So on the back of there. Um, so I've got to do a full test now. Not, not this time, as you can see, look at the double insulated singles. So um, yeah, I've got a lot of uh, work to do here, I think. Um, but the next door neighbor came and grabbed me the other day and I went and looked at his board. He's been doing loads of DIY wiring and um, yeah, the dodgy stuff. So I'm a bit reluctant to give him a quote actually. So, cause I know how bad this one is. It's not bad, it's just, it's not been modernized. So anyway, I'm gonna get on this painting and I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, that is it on this one. I've done all the roll in one coat for Philippe. He's probably watching this, so good on you, Phil. Um, yeah, so if you like the video, Bloody hell, give it a thumbs up. Bit of a random one today, um, yeah. Anyway, give it a thumbs up, appreciate all the subs and all the views and all the lovely feedback that I get. Um, give it a thumbs up, if not give it a thumbs down, they all count. So take care, see you on the next one.